YouTube, this is DJ Black, and this is part 7 of my Let's Play of Monmouth Quest Paradox RPG. Today we're visiting the town of Midas. Our goal here is to be able to get some gold weaponry, but of course it's not that simple. They don't have the gold resources to make it. So we get to hear about a cave up to the northwest where we can find some more. Also, there seems to be another problem in town. Oh, this is where it talks about. Yeah, there's another problem in town. There's been an explosion in the slug population. Poochie, in case I haven't told you already, is a maid. Does uh, yard work, cooking, stuff like that. But apparently a maid's job, or part of it, is to handle noxious pests. So she kind of thinks it's up to her. Explosion of the slug population, huh? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. This one's also a slug. A slug sister, to be specific. The yeah, others are just normal kind, like in the first, second cave of the game. But anyway, dealing with the problem. This here is Flora. She's a legendary maid. Or she was. Okay. This is where she asks you if you're disappointed to learn that the legendary maid is all old and stuff. Intruder alert! Hey Missy, don't you know to knock? Oh, sorry. Bye. Apparently this is how I've made to deal with noxious pests. Better take some notes here. Knock. Yeah. Now. The quest is we go to a tower to the west and defeat a new boss that the slugs have. So, new boss, does that mean there's an old boss? Yeah, there was one 50 years ago. Flora defeated it. Well, she was in her 20s, you see. At the height of her maid eat. But now her hips have given out on her and she can't do it. Fuji's all fi fired up, so let's take it on. get uh, two Nudu Nudu checks. Nudu Nudu is a status effect. Oh, she explains it right here. It makes you take more pleasure damage. With those accessories we can lower the damage. We can lower the chance that we'll get Nudu Nudu by the enemy. And here's the reward. If we get it done, we get permission to become maids at the job change. And that's about it for important thing. Nope, no, I just remembered. Here in the item shop, another small metal. Here's a funny thing. Moo. 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 Ah, no, just kidding. So we're done here for the moment. We'll do... well, I'm already headed toward it. The Slug Tower first. Come in, beat the boss, and leave. This is another three-floor tower. Here's another small metal. If you have a lime in your party, you can inspect various things. Slime girls and slug girls don't get along in this setting, so she's kind of disgusted by everything. And here we have our boss. They uh, are playing. We'll say they're playing with this young man. So they're the ones who caused the population explosion by, well, Breeding. That's how you do that. 
they invite Luca to join them, but we aren't going to have any of that. one they'll agree to stop uh, they'll agree to let the young man go except he's kind of there of his own free will so we just talk them into the stopping their breeding and just and they just said uh, they agree to stop breeding and now they're just going to do recreational sex so is it over well basically yeah Later, losers. Yeah, except we can recruit this one. The Harpy Queen we couldn't, but this one we can. If we fulfill certain conditions. Oh, I told myself I'd do that before I came here and I forgot. So, what we need to do... First things first, I forgot this at the end of the last chapter. You guys probably all remembered, but the mayor's wife offered us a reward for getting the harpies back. And here we go, a thousand gold. The mayor's wife also, incidentally, hits on Luca. But then, when you're accepting the quest, the mayor was actively pining for a harpy girl. So the two of them kind of have, I guess, that kind of relationship. Now what am I doing here and how is this going to help me get those slugs in my party? It's a long story. But since we rescued the harpies, this shop here opens up and we can get Ama Ama Dungo. Sweet dumplings. Oh, about 16 should be enough. I guess I had enough gold without accepting that thousand from the mayor's wife. Now, in order to recruit those slug sisters, I need to prove that I get along with slugs. Do you remember back in the was it the second video? I recruited Merk. So if I get along well with her, we'll be able to recruit the Slug Sisters. And now those Ama Ama Dung will come in. By giving your characters presence, you will increase their affection towards you. These give seven when given to Merk. Every character gets a different number of points from the di every one of these different items you can give them. Ama Ama Dango tends to be pretty efficient. We're almost there, right? Yeah, tomorrow. What we need is 100 to get that third one, the slug metal. Now we close out of the conversation. If we go there and talk to her again, she'll say, I'll give you this, her first present, and I'll give you this, which is her second present. It's a medal. Good for us. Alright, we're done with you. Why not? Happy Nicolaitis. This is why I should have done that before coming here. Saved you all a trip. All right. Now we ask them to be our, join our party, and we show them the medal. 
And yeah, you're down with slugs. No problem. Let's go. Oh hell, like I want you like literally in my party. I have actual cute girls to hang out with. And this guy's all lonely, but who gives a rip about him? So that's one subquest down. Time for our reward. Good job, everyone. Backpads all around. And here's your permission slip. Now you can become maids. Not to really even notice that the slugs haven't gone away. Just because they've stopped breeding doesn't mean the ones that were already here go away. Flora says that around this time next year everything should be back to normal. Which kind of makes you wonder how long these slug girls live. It'd be kind of depressing if they only like have a four month lifespan or whatever. Alright, now we've gotten to Midas's cave, and here is where you find the chunk of gold. It's pretty shining and I like it. And with this we should be able to get our gold equipment from Midas. Sonia speculates that you could sell it for a ton of money. But Vanilla, as a merchant, can appraise that it's worthless unless you forge it into something. Which is kind of weird for gold, but whatever. Maybe it's not actually the currency labeled with G's. Maybe that's something else entirely. Now, what am I doing walking out? So, now return to Midas. And this guy can make his gold weapons. Whoops. Now it's time to head for the Eastern Tartarus on this continent. But, talk to this guy. Puppy wants to learn how to make gold weapons too. Well, not that simple, however. Working gold is a secret technique. Now, oh, come on, please. Yeah, yeah, don't cry. I'll do it for on conditions. You see, in the Tartarus, there are unknown rocks that he wants to get a hold of and try some experiments on. So bring him one, and he'll teach you how to work gold. So that's accepting the quest. Talk to him again, and you can turn it in. These particular rocks, the Rock of Chaos, you get one when you beat Nuruko the first time, and the other enemies in the first Tartaros also drop them. Since we haven't sold ours, we can give it to him. And just like that, Puppy gets to learn gold working. Kong Kong, Kong Kong. Just like this. Puppy's got talent, and her basics are good too, which is nice. Thanks, mister. We're out of here. I like getting achievements. I never showed you, but Puppy's got a spot here in the Mao Castle. She's right there if you're not in, if she isn't in your party. If she is in your party, you get to talk to that puppy. The uh, stuffed bear. Elias doesn't freak out about this one, though. Gold weapons. Lots of gold weapons. All the gold weapons you could possibly want. But on very easy difficulty, again. Not a lot of need to deal with this. This is the spot where Poochie hangs out. Another teddy bear. The inn here is only one goal. As if one is a whole lot different from ten. It could be a thousand. 
Well, I guess later in the game it could be a thousand. Next up, the Eastern Tartaros. Come through here, cross this bridge, and go east. Also, from down south, you can get here from Porno. Oops. I didn't want to come and start this cutscene, but here we are. Going through this mountain range, we go through a series of caves, and then we'll arrive at the Lost Troma area of the continent. It's uninhabited right now because Lost Troma was, uh... Hmm. Ten years after the Cataclysm, it was destroyed. It was a small town to begin with. It seems very likely that the... Tartaros there had something to do with the destruction, but still, at this point it's unknown the exact cause. We can investigate all of that in the next video. See you tomorrow, YouTube.